everybody, it's Michael Termini with The Game House, and today I am joined by 100 Thieves Abadage after the LCS Finals. Unfortunately, it was a 3-0 for y'all, and I know it's the most generic question of all time, and there's one that's not really, there's a good answer for, but what do you think went wrong this series, specifically for you in mid lane? Um, so it just felt like we were kind of, we were trying to take fights, but we didn't find, we went on the wrong opportunities, um, and then, a lot of times it ended up with game one and two, the rise kind of having the faster access with ult on these fights. Mm -hmm. And so we were really bad at like kind of playing around that and trying to include me to take those fights because I was really ready to just kind of win the game. I mean, game one, we that, that wasn't that much of a problem, but we kind of just played the fights for us in them. Um, pretty straight up they just felt like they were always ready to take the fight and we kind of just followed them around and it, um, we did take the fight but it felt like they had a better positioning or um, maybe the first setup and those fights were always kind of advantageous for them mm -hmm. we, we didn't really take the fights on our advantage do you think game three, there's a bit of a shift with you guys going towards that Vex pick, going for, you know, something more, let's just go for that reset comp with the Vex R, with the Viego R, uh, going for that, you know? Um, I mean, we were definitely pretty happy with our draft coming into the game. Um, but it's just kind of one bad fight and went out of control. I think we were maybe too bit desperate that game, and in the end, they were just a better team today. Fair enough. I know this question was asked in the scrum, but I want to get your opinion on it. Uh, so, throughout this entire year, it seems like the teams that are making and winning these like long runs are coming from the loser's bracket. Uh, and you guys said this last year in the summer uh, with the loss of TL, then you beat them in the finals, obviously. Uh, so do you think there is something about that loser's bracket that gives some sort of teams an advantage, whether it's mental, whether it's just more games, whether it was you know being on the stage a day before and getting to experience the atmosphere? Um, I mean, it's true that it gives you like some kind of comfort being able to play the games on the stage the day before, um, but it also... Um, as the team waiting in the finals, you get the advantage of seeing what how the team the enemy team played the day before, mm -hmm. and maybe they're a bit more tired because they just had their match the day before. Um, so it all kind of depends. Uh, I think it's pretty evenly matched because the team in the finals gets to prepare better. The other team has to like do a lot, play two teams on the same weekend, and like prepare different things. Mm -hmm. So it all kind of depends. It can be like, can be pretty bad for you, but it can also just turn out fine, you know? Yeah. I got to ask as well, um, you know, we were in this huge stadium, NRG Stadium in Houston here. Uh, I know <laughs> fans probably weren't the most nice towards y'all, but I mean, like, what, what were your thoughts on the fan atmosphere here? Was it like electric? Could you feel it on the stage? Um, definitely great, but if you're on the losing side, losing team, then the... <laughs> <laughs> the, the energy um, kind of tires you out maybe like if you yeah. the enemy team always gets a cheer for making a good play then at some point it doesn't feel that good but it just kicks you down more yeah. I, I really appreciate that they're being able to play, play on the stage and have the fans have you uh, I mean in EU you obviously played on stages quite a bit but what do you think it is about the, uh, the North American crowd that I guess is maybe different or do you think it's generally the same um, I, f I have to say that I only played one LEC finals that was in Athens, and then I played with the studios of fans. So mm -hmm. um, I think it's pretty similar. I just um, I think the crowd here is very nice for sure. I just feel like I haven't had enough experiences with with crowd in both EU and NA to be able to make a comparison. Mm -hmm. I, I just think it's very fun to play in front of the fans. Got to ask about your mid lane opponent, Jojo. Uh, you know, obviously, tons of hype around him. Uh, but he's also a bit of a shit talker. <laughs> and I got to ask about his tweet that he sent out earlier. He's going to send you back to Europe. Obviously a meme, obviously. But 
what were your thoughts when you see stuff like that? Do you like the shit talk? Do you want to fire back and, and you know, kind of enjoy that? Or are you just more like, eh, I don't really care? I mean, I wanted to do the talk on the riff today. I didn't really care about the tweet. Um, I just wanted to outperform him. Didn't happen today. Um, con con congrats to him. <laughs> All right, man. Well, that's all I got. Thank you for having the interview. And uh, check out thegamehouse.com for more LCS interviews.